Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to go through the Forex market wrap. We're going to look at the majors and see what's been going on. So we were looking at the dollar index at the start of the week and we were looking at the fact that price had come into a key $92 level. Now that's been pretty important all week and as we can see, on Monday, the market came into that $92 area, rallied up, and it looked to be that the dollar was going to start gaining some strength. However, we came back up into some previous structure highs, which is this $92.70 area, and rejected. And then the market fell all the way back down and retested $92 again. And this was the area where we said if the market can trade below, we'd expect in the dollar weakness to continue because we looked at the seasonality reports. We looked at the fact that through November, typically uh, the dollar finds a top and falls through to the end of the year. And we can see here that despite that nice rally that we saw in the markets, the dollar has continued to fall away and reject in this level on numerous occasions has finally broken through this $92 level now and looks to be moving towards to the downside. The market's not closed yet, so we need to see how the market closes at this situation um, or at this level uh, to, to kind of best look at where we could go from there. But 92 has been such a huge level for, for the dollar and now that's kind of caused, this breakout has caused some major currencies uh, to continue to move. So looking at Kiwi dollar for instance, we were looking at the potential for Kiwi to react from this 0 0.69 level uh, and start potentially pushing a little bit lower and potentially coming into these previous structure highs here. Uh, but the market has completely ignored that. That dollar weakness continuing as push prices uh, to the upside here. And if we go to the daily time frame, price hasn't really looked back this week. It's just continued uh, to push higher. And the next sort of stop now for Kiwi is going to be heading up towards these major resistance levels towards 0.7050 or even up into the 0.7200s, which is a big level as well. Um, but seeing this breakout here just shows us what the potential is for the dollar to continue to weaken. Um, so we have to be a little bit cautious of how we uh, look at the dollar going into next week, see if we can get that downside continuation. But Kiwi at the moment, very much the stronger currency uh, of the week. Euro hasn't had the sort of same sort of uh, strength that we've seen in Kiwi, but nonetheless, it's still sort of breaking out of these uh, key levels. This 1.19 level, um, which kind of coincided with that $92 level on the dollar index, is also being broken at the moment. And if price stays the way it is, then we're likely going to see some potential further upside uh, to come from this market. We have to be a little bit cautious here at the moment just because we are um, sort of heading towards making higher highs and the RSI looks to be making a bit of a lower high at the moment. We have to obviously wait for a bearish week in order to determine that uh, factor. But at the moment, dollar weakness pushing euro dollar prices higher that could continue going into next week week as well so we looked at taking a couple of positions pound aussies moving okay at the moment just looking at that daily time frame nothing really here to be too concerned about prices continuing to to push uh, lower towards these lows through here um, but obviously we're coming into the weekend now so we need to look to sort of manage these positions whether we uh, close the position out look to continue or look for a pullback going into next week which I think is probably going to be the the best thing here because we have this almost um, little channel that price is finding some resistance or support at at the moment so uh, just going to take and, and close this position we'll look to see if it can break out going into next week uh, kiwi yen's divergence didn't play out even though look at that kiwi strength the, uh, the kiwi yen hasn't really match that which is interesting to see um, so potentially uh, we can just delete this order and, and look again next week um, euro swiss was one that we were looking for the market to, to sort of break to the downside 
did uh, start breaking quite nicely. However, um, price has pulled all the way back. Four hours still looking good. I'm going to hold this one. We've got quite a, a wide stop loss on this one. So this one's going to be okay to hold. Um, but essentially, dollars are the, the big talking point. We've got dollar index at that key 92 level. Can it hold below it? If it does, where's it going to go to next? And how's that going to impact our major currencies going into next week? I hope you enjoyed the content this week and I'll speak to you soon.